Well, good evening. We are live from Bishop Garrigan High School for another top of Iowa West volleyball match. I'm Tyler Lantifi here on Hometown Radio, KLGA, and the Algona Radio YouTube live stream getting set for a great night of volleyball action. It's the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears, and it is the Eagle Grove Eagles. As the Golden Bears have given the Eagles fits over the years, Bishop Garrigan having won 15 straight matches, including 39 straight sets over the Eagles. Their winning streak over Eagle Grove goes all the way back to the 2012 season, so the Eagles will try to snap that here tonight, while Bishop Garrigan will try to extend on that winning streak. Golden Bears come into tonight with a record of three wins and four losses. They are one and one in top of Iowa West play early on in this season. Eagle Grove coming in, one win and nine losses. They are one and two in conference play. After splitting last week, they lost to Belmont Clemmy, but they did pick up a top of Iowa West win over West Hancock. Meanwhile, the Golden Bears come in having lost to Lake Mills in their most recent match. That was three sets to none against one of the conference favorites on Thursday, but Golden Bears had the weekend off. They are now rested up and ready to return home for some volleyball action here tonight. As always, we give a big thank you to our streaming sponsors for tonight's game, helping us make this video stream possible. And they include Algona State Farm Insurance agent Billy Offerman, as well as Chemna Auto, where it's not just about the car, it's about the care. Algona Municipal Utilities, where they are community-owned for community benefit. And finally, High Endeavors, proud supporter of Bishop Garrigan Athletics. And if you're the Golden Bears, again, this is one of those early season matches where you really want to come in here and take care of business, possibly in three sets if you can. This is an Eagle Grove team that has really, really struggled to win in this building. So if you're the Golden Bears, you want to establish that early momentum in set number one, get the Eagles out of it early, get your home crowd behind it, get the student section rolling tonight, and cruise to a victory. So that is the objective if you're the Golden Bears. Then if you're the Eagles, you've got to avoid those mistakes, avoiding the service errors, trying not to let Bishop Garrigan pile up any service aces against you, and uh, really force the Golden Bears to kind of play out the string and fight for a win here in their home courts tonight. Uh, you can't find a way to make it easy on Bishop Garrigan if you're Eagle Grove. You've got to find a way to be competitive early. You've got to avoid those killer mistakes that young teams can sometimes make, and you've got to find a way to just get an early lead in set number one, get some of that early momentum, and see if you can sit on that and carry that lead, and and uh, try to steal one from Bishop Garrigan early. So that is what we're looking for from the two teams here tonight. Again, Bishop Garrigan and Eagle Grove for the first time this season here on KLGA 92.7 FM, Hometown Radio, KLGA Algona. As the starting lineups have just been introduced, they are getting ready for the national anthem. So with that, we'll break here for a couple of moments, get some words from our sponsors, and we will come back and get things started. Coming up next on Hometown Radio and the Algona Radio YouTube stream. High School Sports on Hometown and Home Country Radio, brought to you by these sports club members. American Glass, for all your glass needs, think American. Farm Bureau Financial Agents, Dave Beisch, Jason Brace, Daniel Foth, and Michael Tull. Chemco Tires, they're all you need to know about tires and service. Wykert Realty, the 515 Agency, a fresh approach to real estate. Feed Mill Coffee Company, where community connects. Iowa Lakes Community College, your community, your college. PMC Advantage Insurance Services, insuring our neighbors for over 80 years. Walker Chiropractic and Wellness, caring for Algona, Sway City, and the surrounding areas with chiropractic, nutritional, and physical therapy services. All proud sponsors of this broadcast. More sports club members making these broadcasts possible on Hometown and Home Country Radio. Reeb's Wicked Good Bar and Grill for Wicked Good Food, Drinks and Service. You gotta go to Reeb's. CB Grain Solutions, satisfaction guaranteed. New Way KH Co-op, delivering exceptional value through knowledge and innovation. Dump it. They do the dirty work so you don't have to. Albert Electric, flip the switch to Albert Electric. Grassmasters, growing satisfied customers. Greg Penny and Company CPA, certified public accountants where everyone counts. Yemblin Builders and Apartments, quality apartments for rent, beauty and and craftsmanship that will never go out of style. Daylight Donuts, open early with delicious donuts and great coffee. All sponsors of this broadcast. More sports club members making these broadcasts possible on Hometown Home Country Radio. Kasuth Regional Health Center, make KRHC your home for health care. North Iowa Appliance Center, Highway 18 East Algona, where they sell the best and service the rest. Tom Eichen Sales, your store in the country, Highway 18 West. Algona Plumbing and Heating, where a good flush always beats a full house. Runky Brothers Full Service, experience the Runky Brothers difference for all of your auto service and repair needs. Purpleding and Boy. 
avoid CPAs. They're not just about taxes. Purpleding Excavating Enterprise. Let them take care of your grading, excavating, and drainage needs. Hi V. Use the Fuel Saver card. Fill your cart, fuel your car. All sponsoring this broadcast on the radio. Let's get it started. It's the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears and the Eagle Grove Eagles tonight here on Hometown Radio, KLGA. Bishop Garrigan tonight in the home white uniforms. They have the gold lettering and numbering. The Eagle Grove Eagles in the road blacks, yellow lettering and numbering. The purple streaks down the sleeves. If you're watching on the YouTube stream, Bishop Garrigan's on the right side of your screen. Eagle Grove is on the left side. And uh, those are the two teams lining up here for tonight. Again, Bishop Garrigan three and four on the season. Eagle Grove coming into tonight one and nine. Golden Bears up front. They have Molly Joyce, Maggie Vasky, Augie, Audie Crooks lined up there. Uh, Avery Lichter right behind that little triangle up front. Getting set to serve it here is the senior Eva Snyder and uh, Ashlyn Hovey also on the floor as the serve goes right down the middle to the Eagle Grove side. They set things up to number 25, Callie Style. Back over to Bishop Garrigan. They set it up front for Joyce. Taps it over of two hands towards the far side. Eagle Grove up to the front to Jeske. Back over to Bishop Garrigan. Here comes the set to the left to Joyce. Hard left-handed swing, tipped in the net, but that drops in for a Bishop Garrigan point. At one nothing, Golden Bears here to start off the night. Susie Kaiser went up there, as well as Callie Style trying to block that one off, but Joyce came in with that hard left-handed swing, that trademark kill, and it is one nothing, Bishop Garrigan. Serve right down the middle, Teresa Middleton will knock it out of bounds, and that'll be a service ace. Eva Snyder gets Bishop Garrigan started off. Two nothing, Golden Bears, of course, Golden Bear fans who have been listening to KLGA this week have probably heard Eva Snyder's name quite a bit. You're hearing her name in that Beck's Player of Heart commercial. And, of course, it's spotlighting everything Eva Snyder does, not just on the volleyball court, but dance team, speech, some other activities she's involved in as she serves a tumbling serve down the middle. Kaiser up to the front, tapped back over the net to the Bishop Garrigan side. Looked her up to Vasky. Crooks hard right-handed swing, tipped to the net, back to the Bishop Garrigan side. Vasky goes left to Joyce. Hard swing, and she'll kill it. Molly Joyce making it 3 nothing. Bishop Garrigan. Punched that one out of the reach of the sophomore Middleton, and the Golden Bears rolling here behind Snyder up 3-0. But you're not just hearing that commercial for Snyder here on Hometown Radio. That is playing across the state, the Bex player of heart. So great spotlight there for the senior Snyder. Tapped over the Golden Bears side. Lichter passing up front to Vasky. Crooks, soft touch over the net. Nice save, though, by Eagle Grove. Right back to Crooks, who tries to jam it over, and Crooks is going to get the kill. Hit that one right into the lap of Madison Kaiser. Looked like Crooks up with the offhand at that time, but was able to make it 4 0 Bishop Garrigan. So Golden Bears off to an ideal start tonight. Snyder serving from the middle, sends it right down the middle to Middleton. Middleton comes up to Susie Kaiser, over to the left to Jeske, and Jeske line drives it into the net. 5 0 Bishop Garrigan. Golden Bears have come out, and they have taken command here at home in set number one. Snyder continuing to serve it. Sends it right down the middle, and it's misplayed by the Eagles. Middleton got caught looking at that one. A little miscommunication there. Middleton and one of her teammates there caught looking at each other. And the score is now 6-0 in favor of Bishop Garrigan. Snyder continuing to serve. Snyder down the middle again. This time played cleanly by the Eagles. Up to Jeske up front. Three ball down the middle to Snyder. Vasky sets left to Joyce. Joyce leans back, punches it over the net, and scores it. Again, right at the net, number nine, Susie Kaiser, and number 25, Callie Style, set up to try to block that one as Eagle Grove takes an early timeout, but they were a little bit far back from the net that time. Ball hit straight down, but instead of falling onto the Bishop Garrigan side, it stayed on the Eagle Grove side, and it is 7-0 Golden Bears. Bishop Garrigan looking loose and relaxed, laughing in their timeout huddle right now. Uh, meanwhile, Eagle Grove looking for some answers here. They are down 7-0 and really have not been able to solve the attack of Joyce. Bishop Garrigan has set Joyce up nicely for a couple of kills so far tonight. Crooks has gotten a couple, and of course, a lot of the offense for Bishop Garrigan is going to run through Maggie Vasky, the senior, as Vasky right now is fourth in the top of Iowa West in assists at 102. Snyder serving, and it's off the hands of Middleton, and that'll be another ace. Snyder starting to pile up a couple early aces for Bishop Garrigan. And already 8-0 Golden Bears, and we are just getting started from Bishop Garrigan High School. Snyder again walks up and serves it. It's a knuckleball towards the front. Short service, Middleton plays it. 
Backwards to Kaiser, free ball towards the back. Lichter up to Vasky. Vasky takes a swing, but she pulled it to the left, and that'll be Eagle Grove's first point of the night. Vasky will have a chuckle at that one, does not seem to be too bothered there as Bishop Garrigan still leads it eight to one. Eight to one Golden Bears as Kaiser, the senior, serves it towards the near side. Hobie plays it up to the front uh, to Crooks, and Crooks is going to be a little bit long on that attack. Out to the back right, and it is eight to two right now. Eagle Grove scoring back-to-back -back points. Joyce on the far right from Bishop Garrigan. Vasky in the middle. Crooks in the left up front. Bodie comes up and digs it. Able to keep it in play. Free ball over the net to Eagle Grove. And this will work out beautifully for Bishop Garrigan as Eagle Grove cannot play that ball. I'm not sure Bodie really meant to that time, but just dropped it perfectly down the middle. And Eagle Grove could not get it back into play. And it's 9-2 Bishop Garrigan. The Golden Bears up 9-2. And here's Molly Joyce to serve it. The lefty sends a line drive down the middle. Middleton up to the front to Style. Style to Jeske, takes a hard swing, but that is launched way beyond the back line, and it is 10-2 Bishop Garrigan. So Golden Bears up 10-2. Joyce will serve again. The lefty runs up and jump serves it, and she'll head it into the net. That one came a little low out of Joyce's hands. Not sure she initially tossed that up right where she wanted it, and that'll make it 10-3 here as Eagle Grove gets one on the board. Jeske, the sophomore, to serve it. And that'll be a service error. Knuckleballed it way over to the right. And Bishop Garrigan will go up 11-3. So back to the Golden Bears already. From Maggie Vasky, another senior on this senior heavy varsity roster. And Vasky will not quite get enough on that one. Hit a hard line drive just right off that white part on the top of the net. And score goes to 11-4 here as Eagle Grove puts one on the board. Loving four here in set number one. Callie Style, the junior, serves it deep. It is off the hands of Bodie, and that'll be a point for Eagle Grove. Bodie backed up. Looked like she wanted to let that one go, and then at the last minute decided to play it, and then had some instant regret on her face. So that was off the hands and out of bounds. So 11 to five. Style getting one in there for Eagle Grove. Style serves near side to Hobie, up to the front to Vasky. Vasky sets it backwards. It's tapped over by Lichter, back to the Eagle Grove side. Middleton towards the net. It'll leak over to Hobie. Now Vasky, near side Hobie. Hobie with a casual swing, puts it over to the Eagle Grove side. Third hit, they'll have to send the free ball over. Bodie passes up to Vasky, sets it up near side Hobie. Hard right-handed swing, and Hobie kills it right down the middle. That will make it 12 to five as the senior Hobie able to tack one on for Bishop Garrigan. Nothing fancy there, just went right down the middle. And Style could not handle that. So 12-5, it'll be Crooks' turn to serve. Adi Crooks adding some good serving to her arsenal this year for Bishop Garrigan. It's a long serve, up to Kaiser. Kaiser to Middleton, double block attempt at the net, but it's off the block, and that'll be a kill for Teresa Middleton. 12-6, Bishop Garrigan still doubling up Eagle Grove here in set number one. Vasky and Lichter tried to block that last one. But deflected sideways away from them as the junior Kaiser serves it. A spiraling serve towards the back to Joyce. Up to Vasky now near side Lichter and almost a swing and a miss there. That'll make it 12-7 as Lichter tried to take a big right-handed cut at that one but did not get that one with any kind of strength and hit it into the net. So 12-7. Knuckleball and that'll be a service ace. That was a short serve just dropped right over the front line of the Bishop Garrigan defense and those and that back line of defense could not get up to the front quickly enough. So all of a sudden, Eagle Grove working back into it here. Bishop Garrigan initially went up 8-0, but since that time, Eagle Grove has outscored the Golden Bears 8-4. And they have stayed calm and gotten back into it. Kaiser serving, comes to the near side, and Joyce will let that one go out of bounds. A service there, making it 13-8. Joyce wisely letting that one go. As it'll be... Hobie now serving it. Walks up and serves a line drive right down the middle to Jeske. And no one home to catch the pass there for Eagle Grove. Looked like she was trying to aim that one towards the front far side to Middleton as it'll be 14-8 Bishop Garrigan. But Middleton was not expecting that one to come her way and then couldn't quite react that in time to the pass. Kaiser goes to Middleton. This time takes a hard swing. And that one is out beyond the back line. 15-8 Golden Bears. Middleton a little bit too much on that 
And Golden Bears, just like that, regaining control once again here in set number one. Three in a row as Hobie serves again. It's another line drive. Free ball played over to Bodie. Vasky sets it up for Joyce. Joyce left-handed swing. Blocked in the net, but it is blocked too far and out of bounds. Not a bad idea by Eagle Grove. Number 13, Nadia Kaiser there getting her hands on it, but she blocked it so hard that one went all the way beyond the back line and scored one for Bishop Gare again. Hobie again. Hobie, this time a rainbow serve towards the middle. It's set up for Middleton. Able to deflect it off the block of Bishop Garrigan. Bodie into the net. Dug out nicely by Vasky off the net. Played back to the Eagle Grove side. They'll set up the attack. Number eight, Braxton Style, And Style will get the kill. Bishop Garrigan looking out of sorts. On defense on that one. And Eagle Grove just hanging around here. Down 16 to 9 in set number one. Golden Bears trying to make one more run here to put it out of reach. Middleton down the middle. It's tapped lightly by Snyder. Goes back to Hobie. Joyce punches it over with two hands. Kaiser for Eagle Grove, comes to Style towards the back line for Hobie, and that one is deflecting out of play, and another point for Eagle Grove, making it 16 to 10. So 16-10, ball heading back over to Eagle Grove. Again, Eagle Grove splitting last week, they're coming off a 3-0 loss to Belmont Clemmy. Did have a 3-2 win over West Hancock on Tuesday, as Joyce pushes it over with two hands, and pushed it a little bit to the outside. Middleton lets that one go, and Joyce couldn't quite find that far corner as it's now 16 to 11. Eagle Grove down by five. Middleton a tumbling serve up to Lichter. Lichter plays the free ball over, and it's stuffed. Braxton Style gets the kill, and it's 16 to 12. Well, this is as close as Eagle Grove has been since it was 4 0, as they are down by four. And finding some success here if Middleton serving. Middleton, a knuckleball to the near side, Bodie, passing it right to Vasky, sets it left for Joyce. Joyce, that hard left-handed swing, and she'll get the kill. Molly Joyce breaks up that mini Eagle Grove run and makes it 17 to 12 in favor of Bishop Gear again. It'll be the junior Lichter the serve, just from the far side of center, serves on to the right, it's a line drive. Eagle Grove scrambles, Jeske able to play the free ball over. Now back to the Eagle Grove side, played by Bishop Garrigan. It's Jeske again, punches it over and scores it. Or does she? That'll be a point for Bishop Garrigan. I think Jeske may have gotten the net there, so Golden Bears will catch a break after a nice looking play by Jeske, but that'll make it 18 to 12. Lichter again. Lichter serves it towards the back right, and that'll be an ace. Right off the fingertips that time of the receiver there for Eagle Grove, and Bishop Garrigan back up by seven. Three straight points for the Golden Bears. Lichter continuing to serve as they have come in bunches tonight. Golden Bears took the 8-0 lead and got a little mini run after that. And now a service error as Lichter will serve it right into the net. 19-13 as Eagle Grove tacks one on. So Eagles back on the serve here, trying to make one last push in set number one. Golden Bears will try to put it away and brief conversation here for the Eagle Grove bench, I think, trying to make sure everyone's in the right rotation here. Again, 19-13, Bishop Garrigan leading Eagle Grove in set number one here on Hometown Radio KLGA and the Algona Radio YouTube live stream. Eagle Grove looking for their second win of the season. As Eagle Grove has not had a two-win season for the past seven years. The past seven seasons have all resulted in zero or one win. And the discussion continuing here as they're trying to figure out if Eagle Grove was out of rotation there, but they will let it go. Everything was explained to the ref's satisfaction as Eagle Grove will serve it up, trailing 19 to 13. It's a knuckleball serve towards the back. Hobie mishits it, and that'll be an ace. 19-14. Hobie tried to wait back on that one and let it come to her, but at the last minute, she realized she couldn't quite reach it. Tried to take a quick step forward, but again, just hit the ball right off the knuckles. 19-14, Bishop Garrigan up. Hobie cleanly passes to Vasky, sets left to Joyce. Joyce attacks and scores. 20 to 14, Bishop Garrigan. Boy, we have been calling Molly Joyce's name time after time here in set number one. As now Bishop Garrigan will get the serve back. It's come all the way around to Eva Snyder. As Snyder serves for that early 8-0 Bishop Garrigan run. Snyder serves towards the near side. 
Little scramble there as Kaiser has to track it down. Played over by Style. Bumped a couple of times. It sits on top of the net. Jeske trying to save it, and that'll be a point for Bishop Garrigan as two hits are called against Eagle Grove. So Snyder, after the fortuitous bounce from Bishop Garrigan, will serve it. Snyder coming down the middle. Middleton up to the front to Kaiser. Comes left to Jeske. Jeske attacks, but... She pulled it to the outside, and that'll be another point for Bishop Garrigan, putting the Golden Bears up 22 to 14. Golden Bears three away here from taking set number one. Not a bad idea trying to set up Jeske as she leads Eagle Grove and kills, but Jeske hasn't quite able to set up a good attack tonight as at the net. That time it was Joyce and Kaiser almost jousting there, but it stayed on Kaiser's side, and it is 23 to 14, Bishop Garrigan. So Snyder continuing to roll along here for serve. Just clears the net, it's a short serve. A nice diving save though by the Eagles. They'll play it back over to Lichter. Now it's softly touched over and scored by Vasky for Bishop Garrigan, 24 to 14. Vasky has just been assisting all night long, but that time, instead of going for the assist, just over a side to the net, played it over of two hands, and Eagle Grove was not ready for that one. 24-14, here comes the set point, and it'll be a service ace. Snyder drops it in, 25-15 Bishop Garrigan as they take it in set number one. So Golden Bears go up 1-0 as we take a quick timeout on Hometown Radio KLGA and the Algona Radio YouTube live stream. High School Sports on Hometown and Home Country Radio. Brought to you by these sports club members. Farmer State Bank is proud to be a part of our community for over 125 years with offices in Algona, Whittemore, and West Bend. Jensen Chiropractic, care for the whole family. Stroman Dental, giving you something to smile about. Phil's Auto and Truck Repair, service is the difference. Trend Salon, your complete family hair salon. It's all about you. Oak Crest Funeral Services, celebrating a life lived. Lusher Family Dentistry, serving your family since 1965 on Call Street in Algona. Algona Frame and Auto Body, collision specialist, a total commitment to excellence. Water Connection, from softeners to bottled water and service, call 295-SOFT. All bringing you this game on the radio. More sports club members making these broadcasts possible on Hometown Home Country Radio. Algona Livestock Sales, sales every Monday. Countryside Barbecue Sauce, two sauces for all seasons. Farm and Home Services, view their listings at farmhomeservices.com. Holmes Animal Clinic, animals large and small, they love them all. Rental Zone, Highway 18 East Algona, the tool and equipment specialist, phone 395, rent. Style Salon, your salon in Algona, create yourself. Dance Connection and Tumble by Michelle, passionate about teaching, creative about dance. Visit their studio or danceconnectionbymichelle.com. Tafe Wellness Center in Algona and Armstrong, keeping athletes in the game with chiropractic care. Take charge of your health. Sign works for all your signage needs as well as printed shirts, caps, and jackets. Stop in or call 295-9544. Sports Club members bringing you this game. Bishop Garrigan one, Eagle Grove nothing as we get set to begin set number two. Golden Bears taking set number one, 25 to 14 here on Hometown Radio, KLGA and the Algona Radio YouTube live stream. It'll be Eagle Grove's turn to start off here serving. Eagles serving from left to right on your radio dial as number nine, Susie Kaiser, one of the two seniors listed on the Eagle Grove roster, serves it, it's into the net, and it is one nothing Bishop Garrigan. Well, Golden Bears gone off to an 8-0 start in set number one, and they were able to continue that. Eagle Grove obviously cut it to four a couple of times, but would get no closer, so Golden Bears will try to start in a very similar fashion here in set two. It's Joyce serving. It is a fireball down the middle. Eagle Grove plays it with style. Back over to the Bishop Garrigan side. Vasky middle set for Joyce. Joyce left-handed swing, but Eagle Grove able to play it. Over to the left to Jeske. Jeske hard attack, but that one is out beyond not just the baseline, but also the basketball baseline. And that'll make it 2-0 in favor of Bishop Garrigan. Jeske has launched a couple of volleyballs into orbit here tonight. She'll look to take a little bit off that on her next attack as Joyce jump serves, and that one is headed into the net. That'll be Eagle Grove's first point here in set number two, making it 2-1. A rare service error there from Molly Joyce. And it'll be the sophomore Jeske to serve it. 
Team leader in kills, also tied for first on the team in aces as Jeske has recorded nine this year. Oh, it's a curving serve and that'll drop in. Make it ace number 10 for Jeske. Boy, that was a curveball coming in. Just that lateral rotation kind of moving 180 and dropped it right in front of Lichter that time. Great serve by Jeske. This time end over end serve up to Hovey. Vasky sets it backwards. Joyce has to quickly play a free ball over. It's down the middle. Over towards the left for Eagle Grove. Kaiser up to the net and can't get that over. Style tried to go into Crooks that time, but that'll make it 3-2 Bishop Garrigan as Style could not quite elevate that one enough. Maggie Vasky serving it for the Golden Bears. Vasky serves a line drive towards the back of the Eagle Grove defense. Jeske up to Middleton. Middleton from the far side. Attacks right into Crooks. And this time it'll be an Eagle Grove. Kills that one. Deflects sideways off the hands of Crooks that time. Look to be Crooks and Vasky setting up to block that. As we are tied 3-3 three three here in set number two. one nothing Bishop Garrigan. Golden Bears winning set number one, 25-14. Callie Style appears to be getting set to serve, but again, some conversation here for the Eagle Grove bench, making sure everything's in order. Style from the right side of center. Floats one to the back line to Bodie, passing it up to Vasky. Sets up Joyce right in the middle. Joyce will play it down the middle to Style. Deflected out of bounds, and Middleton can't quite chase that one down. 4 3 Bishop Garrigan. Eagle Grove was never really able to advance that ball up towards the net. Couple hits in the back row and then a deflection towards the bleachers on the far side of your screen here on the YouTube stream. And Bishop Garrigan goes up 4-3. Crooks serving. Crooks a tumbling serve right down the middle of Jeske. Up to the net. A swing and a miss that time by Kaiser. Just right off the top of her fingertips. Barely got a piece of that one. And couldn't get it over the net to make it 5-3 Bishop Garrigan. So Crooks serving again. Standing right in the middle of the court. Sends it towards the far side, this time to Kaiser. Up to the front, to the other Kaiser. There's an attack for Eagle Grove. And someone on Bishop Garrigan touched the net that time, so that'll make it 5-4 here, point for the Eagles. Crooks out, Bodie in. As they will roll the ball back over to the Eagle Grove side for Madison Kaiser. Madison Kaiser wearing number five, Susie Kaiser wearing number nine for the Eagles. As Madison Kaiser serves towards Joyce, up to the front. Tavasky, Lichter tried to get it over, but it was almost stuffed right back into her. Kept it alive, though. Back to the Eagle Grove side. They'll attack him with Joyce. It's off of Joyce's hands, and that'll tie it up at five. Joyce had to scramble to defend that far back corner and couldn't quite keep it in play long enough for someone to get over. Deflected backwards and out of play to tie it up at five. So Kaiser, the junior, set to serve it again. Kaiser will serve it towards Hovey. Up to Vasky, sets it up for Zoe Montag, pushes it back over with two hands, a diving attempt, it's into the net, and Middleton can't save it. Six to five, Bishop Garrigan, as that was a crafty play from Montag, finding the soft spot in the defense, and Hobie will be serving again. Hobie, a line drive serve towards the back, a couple players almost collide, they tap it back over to Bishop Garrigan. Lichter up to Joyce, hard left-handed swing, and Molly Joyce gets the kill. That bounced on the court, deflected on the back of the basketball rim beyond the Eagle Grove side, and almost went in like Joyce was shooting a layup. A little flashback to basketball season. As it's 7-5, Bishop Garrigan. Serve goes towards Nadia Kaiser, up towards Middleton, pushes it over of two hands. Vasky comes left to Joyce. Joyce attacks again, and she kills it again. Molly Joyce is feeling it. It's 8-5, Bishop Garrigan. She's in that perfect spot. Joyce is on her left, attacking with that strong left hand. And Eagle Grove has not had a whole lot of answer to that tonight. And now Bishop Garrigan on a nice little run here of Hobie serving. Hobie serves a knuckleball towards the far side. Nadia Kaiser up to the front. Middleton has to play a free ball over. Dug out by Vasky. Now to Lichter. Montag attacks left-handed. Tapped and kept alive by Eagle Grove. Middleton again pushes it over with two hands. Up to the front for Bishop Garrigan. Joyce, two-handed, touch over the net back to the Eagle Grove side. Free ball coming towards Bishop Garrigan. Hovey towards Vasky, now into the middle of the Montag. She'll have to push it back over with two hands. Everyone playing very passively here. Bodie to Vasky, now to Joyce. Joyce taps it with two hands, aims towards the back corner and drops it in. After that long rally, Molly Joyce finally found that opening right in the back corner on the near side to make it 9-5 Bishop Garrigan. 
Crafty play there by Joyce. Went with power a few times earlier, and then used a little finesse as Hobie serves long and out of bounds. So service there making it 9-6. Eagle Grove putting one on the scoreboard here as they trail it by three. Chloe Style will serve it. Style in the black jersey, serves it down the middle to Hobie. Up to Vasky, sets it in the middle to Montag. Back to the Eagle Grove side. Attack set up here, hard right-handed swing by Style. It's tipped, but Bishop Garrigan cannot keep that one alive. And Style picks up a kill to make it 9-7. Legal Grove a little more competitive here early in set number two than they were in set number one. Golden Bears got out to that 8-0 lead and held on this time. It's been relatively back and forth as this one will go as a service ace. Chloe Style served it a little bit shorter and Hobie could not dig it out. So that will make it 9-8. Eagle Grove trailing Bishop Garrigan by one. Style will walk it up and serve. Coming towards Lichter, up to the front to Vasky. High in the air for Joy, she'll play it over of two hands, back towards Style, up to the front to Madison Kaiser. Kaiser to Jeske, as able to save it as Vasky, and then no one wanted to take the pass. Vasky kept it high in the air. Anyone could have gotten it for Bishop Garrigan, but the whole Golden Bear team was just looking at each other that time and waiting for someone to make a play as the ball drops in the middle, and it is all tied up at nine. Serve coming, and that one is into the net. Air for style, and Bishop Garrigan goes back up by one. 10-9 here in set number two. So Lichter will serve for Bishop Garrigan. Lichter serving it short, and that is too short as it's into the net. Service there for Avery Lichter, and that'll tie it up at 10. The serving here in set number two on both sides has not been very clean at all. Quite a few errors starting to pile up as we are tied at 10. Bishop Garrigan leading one set to nothing. Eagle serve it short. Joyce able to back up and take it. Vasky back to Joyce. Hard left-handed swing tipped in the net. Jeske keeps it alive for Eagle Grove. Style playing it over, but Style pull it to the outside and into the crowd. 11 to 10, Bishop Garrigan. Style tried to aim that one a little bit too much instead of just getting a ball back over to Bishop Garrigan's side. And Bishop Garrigan up 11 to 10 as Violet Bodie serves. Down the middle it goes. Up to the front, tapped over for the right hand by Kaiser, kept alive by Bishop Garrigan. Joyce is set up here for an attack, and it's up the face of Jeske, but it goes over the net. Crooks attacks and Crooks kills. Oh, Jeske initially got a beautiful face save that time. Not sure that's how she wanted to do it, but eventually Crooks got her opportunity, and Crooks able to make it 12-10 Bishop Garrigan. So Bodie serving again. Bodie a tumbling serve, it's a little short, as Eagle Grove able to dig it out. Tapped over by Kaiser. Vasky now to Crooks, pushes it over with two hands. Eagles go up to Jeske. Jeske attacks down the line and she kills it. Well, that is the Jeske Eagle Grove's been looking for all night. Saw that the line on the far side was wide open and she placed it perfectly, making it 12 to 11. Eagle Grove trailing Bishop Garrigan by just one in set number two as Susie Kaiser serves. A knuckleball, it's a far serve, back towards Lichter. Hobie comes up to Crooks, and Crooks can't quite reach that one. Hobie's set was a little off target. Crooks had to scramble towards the middle, and she was unable to play a free ball over, and we are tied at 12. Eagle Grove and Bishop Garrigan battling it out. Lichter digs up to Vasky. Here comes Crooks with the attack, and she's long on the attack, and Eagle Grove takes a 13-12 lead. Boyati Crooks was trying to take a big swing on that one, but that ball was not quite high enough for her to swing down on it. She got underneath it, and Eagle Grove up by one. Tapped over by Vasky, and she drops it in again. Maggie Vasky picking a perfect time for a sneak attack, and we are back to tie it up, 13-13. Vasky does not do that often on the second hit, but did it once in set one, and that was her sneak attack here for set number two as we're tied up at 13. Style digging out the serve. Tipped over the net, it's short. A nice diving dig though by Bishop Garrigan, and it's dropped back onto the Eagle Grove side for a point. 14-13, Golden Bears. So Joyce getting the serve. Dribbles it a couple of times and serves up the left. Coming near side, Kaiser over to Jeske. Jeske attacking, and that one grazes the line. It had yellow paint all over it, and that'll tie us up at 14. Couple late kills here from the sophomore, Addison Jeske. 
came into tonight leading Eagle Grove with 36 kills, and now she'll get her opportunity to serve. 14-14 tie, set number two. Jeske from the far side, serves it, serves it short, it's off the top of the net. Vasky comes to Hovey, Hovey right-handed swing, that is long, and Eagle Grove goes up 15-14. Hovey from that near side was not able to find yellow paint like Jeske was a couple minutes earlier. As Jeske serves, that is into the net, and we are back to tie it up at 15. Boy, I'll tell you what, folks, I wish I was keeping track of how many ties and lead changes we've had. I believe that's three different ties and at least two lead changes here in set number two on official stats there. Vasky serving. Down the middle it goes. Up to the front to Kaiser. Setting it up to Kaiser. Kaiser to Kaiser. As it's back to Bishop Garrigan. Crooks stuffs it over and that's a kill. Eagle Grove lifted it anyways and Bishop Garrigan will go up by one here, 16-15. Vasky serving it again. Neither team's been able to make a huge run here in set number two. Vasky towards the far side, Middleton up to the front, Kaiser. Short set back to Middleton, punches it over to Vasky. Now Reagan Murphy for Bishop Garrigan, sets it to Crooks, Crooks a hard swing, it deflects back to the Bishop Garrigan side, and that's a point for Eagle Grove. Boy, they didn't mean to, but everyone from Bishop Garrigan had crept up to the net, and just that deflection by the Eagles carried over everybody's head and dropped in to tie it up at 16. Cali Style, the junior now serving in the black and yellow jersey of the Eagle Grove Eagles. Serves a knuckleball back to Joyce. Vasky, short set to Crooks. Crooks has to lean back, and just a soft attempt there in the middle. A little joust to the net. Crooks pushes it back onto the Eagle Grove side. Free ball over the Joyce, scrambles to get it. Vasky, over to Hovey, hard swing. It's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds, and that will be a point for Bishop Garrigan. Block attempt set up there right at the net as Bishop Garrigan goes up 1-17-16. Eagle Grove could not quite guide that one into play as now it's on Crooks. The junior serving it with the right hand. Tumbling serve down the middle of Jeske. Up to the front, Kaiser. Kaiser to Middleton. Middleton swings and she'll hit it off the hands of Joyce. Middleton ties it up at 17. Boy, what an entertaining second set that is bet. Eagle Grove trailing Bishop Garrigan one set to nothing, but this all important second set. They are battling Bishop Garrigan tooth and nail here, looking for their second win of the season. Knotted up 17 all. <coughs> Madison Kaiser serving towards Joyce. Vasky to Montag. Montag slightly tips it over off the left hand and she drops it in. Montag was going for the kill shot that time, hit it off the fingertips, but she took such a big swing of the left hand, everyone from Eagle Grove was expecting just a power shot. And the knuckleball kind of threw that change up of, uh, at Eagle Grove, and Bishop Garrigan's up 18 to 17. Here's Middleton for Eagle Grove attacking. Off the hands of Hobie, that one is deflecting backwards, and that is tying it up at 18. Middleton delivering a couple late kills. And still nothing decided in set number two. 18-18. Teams are just trading the serve here back and forth. As Eagle Grove trying to figure out their substitution pattern. Style in for Middleton. Callie Style getting set, or make that a Chloe Style getting set to serve. Back towards Hobie, up to Vasky. Sets it up for Joyce. Joyce blocked, but it's out of bounds. Boy, attempt was made there by Kaiser. She challenged Joyce right into the net. But when it's coming off the hands of Joyce, it is coming in at 1,000 miles per hour. And if you just don't have your hands positioned perfectly, it is going to deflect out of bounds as it did right there. Murphy will check out for Bishop Garrigan. Lichter back in to serve it. Golden Bears clinging on to a 19-18 lead in set number two. And it is now 19-19. Not the serve Lichter was looking for. She hits it into the bottom of the net. Lichter has had a couple of service errors. Not quite finding that touch here in set number two. And Eagle Grove will be back on the serve. The serve comes to the near side to Bodie. Vasky sets it high in the air. Free ball played over by Hovey. Madison Kaiser comes over to Nadia Kaiser. Diving save there by Hovey. Tipped over the net by Eagle Grove again. Golden Bear scrambling here. Two players reach for it. Free ball back over. Pushed in there by Vasky. Up to the front for Eagle Grove. Tapped over by Cali Style. Vasky coming to Joyce. Joyce left-handed swing. Diving save by the Eagles. They keep it in play. Over to Jeske. Free ball coming to the Bishop Garrigan side. Lichter to Vasky. Here comes Joyce. Joyce attacks. And point for Bishop Garrigan. Joyce finding the corner. 
20 to 19. Bishop Garrigan back up by one. That was a very important point here in set number two. And looks like we are going to have a timeout for Eagle Grove. So one minute timeout here. Bishop Garrigan up 20 to 19 in set number two. Again, Golden Bears taking set one, 25-14. But set number two here has been highly, highly competitive. I don't believe any team has had more than a two-point lead here really since the earliest parts of, uh, parts of the set. Bishop Garrigan got a little lead early. They were up 9-6 at one point, but really besides that, Eagle Grove got back into it. They tied it up 9-9, and really since then, it's just been trading points back and forth here, especially in the last few points. Really, no team's been able to string together more than one or two, so normally in any given set, you have that one momentum ceiling run, but neither team's been able to deliver that. Bishop Garrigan clinging to a 2019 lead. Bodie serves from right to left. And it's miss hit, and Eagle Grove will not get it back over the net. Bodie gives Bishop Garrigan a 21 to 19 lead. That one pinballed a couple of times around there. Style initially had her hands on it. As Bodie serves it short, and that'll be an ace. The whole back line of the defense was playing back for Eagle Grove. And Bodie served it short that time out of the reach of everyone, 22-19. Bodie again, this time it's a long serve. Style reaches for it, and it's misplayed again. 23-19, Bishop Garrigan, and here comes the momentum. Style hit it up to Nadia Kaiser, but it was not really a great set that time, or not really a great pass that time over to Kaiser, and she was not able to reach it cleanly. Now Bodie serves a knuckleball into the net. That'll make it 23-20 on the service air. Bishop Garrigan leading Eagle Grove by three. Susie Kaiser walks up and serves it. Down the middle, the lichter plays it over the net by accident. It's tipped a couple of times by the Eagles. They'll play the three ball back to Bishop Garrigan. Vasky tried to sneak one over, but it's played by Jeske. Back to Jeske, tips it over, crooks it's off her fingertips, and a point for Eagle Grove. 23-21, back-to-back points here from Eagle Grove after Bishop Garrigan had gone up by four. Do the Eagles have one last push? Kaiser serves to Lichter for Bishop Garrigan. And not a great set that time by Vasky. It's out of the reach of Crooks. And there is a point for Eagle Grove. Vasky's set was way too close to the net. Crooks almost had to reach over and had to pull her hand back at the last minute. Vasky, a better set this time. Crooks attacks, hit in the air, and Eagle Grove can't save that one. That deflected wildly off the hands of Chloe Style. Crooks brought a little heat to make it 24-22. And here comes the set point for Bishop Garrigan, already leading one set to none. Just who they want serving, it's Molly Joyce, who had 60 aces last year. And here's an ace for Molly Joyce. Bishop Garrigan wins it in set number two, 25-22, as Molly Joyce turns the lights out with a very nice serve. And Bishop Garrigan had to sweat that one out, but they will take it and have a commanding two sets to none lead over the Eagle Grove Eagles. So with that, we'll take a quick timeout. Back for set number three, coming up next on Hometown Radio, KLGA. The crunch of leaves underneath your feet. The touch of a soft autumn breeze blowing through your hair. The vibrant color blanketing the countryside. And high school football on Hometown and Home Country Radio. Don't miss the best matchups every Friday night with pregame starting at 6 o'clock. This week on Home Country Radio, it's a better showdown between the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears and the West Bend Mallard Wolverines. While on Hometown Radio, the Algona Bulldogs hit the road to face the Garner Hayfield Ventura Cardinals. Don't miss any of the action. High School Sports on Hometown and Home Country Radio, brought to you by these sports club members. American Glass, for all your glass needs, think American. Farm Bureau Financial Agents, Dave Beisch, Jason Brace, Daniel Foth, and Michael Tull. Chemco Tires, they're all you need to know about tires and service. Wykert Realty, the 515 Agency, a fresh approach to real estate. Beat Mill Coffee Company, where community connects. Iowa Lakes Community College, your community, your college. PMC Advantage Insurance Services, insuring our neighbors for over 80 years. Walker Chiropractic and Wellness, caring for Algona, Sway City, and the surrounding areas with chiropractic, nutritional, and physical therapy services. All proud sponsors of this broadcast. Yeah. 
It's Bishop Garrigan leading Eagle Grove two sets to none as we head to what could possibly be the decisive third set here from Bishop Garrigan High School. Golden Bears trying to close it out and sweep the Eagles. Eagle Grove will try to keep it alive for at least one more set. Golden Bears winning set number one, 25-14, and set number two, 25-22. Boy, that set number two was an entertaining one. It wasn't always pretty. Both teams had a couple sloppy moments there. The serving definitely resulted in a few service errors, but Bishop Garrigan was able to close it out. They got that little late run, a little 4-0 run at the end to go up 23-19, and then that was enough. They were able to close it out after that. Violet Bodie serving right to left. It is misplayed by the Eagles. 1-0 Bishop Garrigan. So Golden Bears start off with that first point. Kaiser had the initial hit, but after that, everyone kind of scrambling around for the Eagles. Bodie standing in the middle, serves a hard line drive right towards the back line. Up to the front, Jeske takes the right-handed swing, but she swings it into the net. 2-0 Bishop Garrigan. Jeske definitely struggled a little bit in set number one. Was hitting it a little bit long, lifting the ball a little bit, but set number two started to find that rhythm and got a couple really nice kills for the Eagles as a free ball is played over to Lichter on the Bishop Garrigan side. Baskey shorts at the Crooks, but Crooks' attack is long and beyond the baseline. So that is going to be a point for Eagle Grove, making it two to one. Set number three. Here comes a serve from Susie Kaiser. It deflects off the top of the net and spins over. Oh, Kaiser put some serious English on that one. That looked like that was destined to be a service there, but hit on the top, couple of inches on the net, had that top spin and just rolled over. No chance there for Bishop Garrigan to make a play. Vasky setting it up for Crooks, has to reach back and just play it over to Jeske. Kaiser coming to the near side to Madison Kaiser. Her attack is going to be long and out of bounds as Bishop Garrigan will take a three to two lead here. So 3-2 Bishop Garrigan. Molly Joyce looking over to the Bishop Garrigan bench for some instructions before she serves it. As she'll serve it long, and that'll be too long. Service there for Joyce will tie it up 3-3. That one a good 5 or 10 feet there beyond the end line, probably a little closer to 5 feet, as it'll be Addison Jeske for Eagle Grove. The score tied 3-3. Jeske end over end, tumbling serve, and that one is way too long. 4-3 Bishop Garrigan. So here in set number three, the serving has not necessarily picked up. These two teams trading service errors back and forth. Maggie Vasky will try to break that trend as Snyder comes in, Lichter heads to the bench for Bishop Garrigan. Snyder, Hobie, Crooks up front for the Golden Bears. Bodie's over to the left as it's served towards the far side to Middleton. Kaiser goes back to Middleton. Middleton looks for the back corner, but she can't find it. 5-3 Bishop Garrigan. Kaiser tried to go across the court that time, but official Marty Wadley was on top of it. I'm sure normally Coach Wadley, very civil to the officials on Friday night, no arguments whatsoever, but uh, here he gets to be on the other end of it, officiating this volleyball game. As this will be a point for Bishop Garrigan, two hits called on Eagle Grove. 6-3 Golden Bears as Bishop Garrigan's rattled off three in a row. And Baskey will continue to serve, standing just to the right of center. Vasky a tumbling serve down the middle. Popped up in the air to Kaiser. Coming left to Middleton. Middleton pushes it back over of two hands. Vasky sets it to Hobie. Hobie attacks into the block, and she gets the kill. That time it was Kaiser and Style setting up right at the net, trying to block off Hobie, but Hobie was undeterred, just attacked right into it, and Golden Bears are up 7-3 here for an early 4-0 run. Serve just clearing the net from Vasky. Kaiser setting it for Kaiser. Joyce able to dig it out for Bishop Garrigan. Vasky coming to Hobie, pushes it back over of two hands. Up to the front again, it is Kaiser. Over to Middleton, punches it over of two hands. Joyce, a nice diving dig. Over to Hobie. Hobie softly plays it down the line. Jeske up to the front, punched over the net by Callie Style, and she will find the boundary. Just able to keep it in play, and the score is now 7 4 as Eagle Grove will break up that 4 0 Bishop Garrigan run. The junior Callie style will serve it. The right-hander hits a knuckleball towards the back to Violet Bodie. Up to the front, Vasky. Joyce attacked from right in the middle of the court. Eagle Grove able to keep it alive. Falls up in the ceiling as Kaiser plays a tumbling free ball over the Joyce. Vasky short set to Crooks. Attacks with the right hand, but her attack is long and out of bounds. That'll make it 7-5. Back-to-back points from Eagle Grove. 
Crooks looks like she's just getting a little bit underneath the ball there on her attacks. Past couple have been a couple feet too long to be on the end line. It is a rainbow serve over to Hovey. Joyce and Vasky bump into each other. They get it to Crooks though. Nice diving dig though by Jeske, keeping it alive. Eagle Grove plays the free ball back over to Joyce. Up to Vasky, comes left to Hovey. Hovey attacks with the right hand and Hovey gets the kill. The senior getting in on the action, making it eight to five, Bishop Garrigan. As Bodie will sit on the bench here and Montag comes in. And Ani Crooks will rotate over to serve. The senior Ani Crooks. Serves it long. Jeske up to Kaiser. And this will be a point for Bishop Garrigan. Kaiser might have double tapped that time, and it's going to be 9 5 in favor of the Golden Bears. So Bishop Garrigan up by four, set number three. 2 0 Golden Bears as Crook serves. End over end it goes. Kaiser to Kaiser. Now Middleton. Hard attack right to Crooks. It hits up the ceiling, and Joyce can't save it. Boy, that one was headed out of play no matter what. If the ceiling wasn't there, that one would have been way up beyond the end line, beyond Joyce's reach, but it did deflect off the ceiling, just shot straight down, and Joyce was unable to play that very difficult carom off the ceiling. Uh, so that'll make it 9-6 here. Eagle Grove tacking one on. Service short. Joyce comes up to get it. Pushed over of two hands by Snyder, and nobody can reach it for Eagle Grove. Middleton tried to make a diving save that time, but Snyder... Just perfectly dropped that one over the front line, and that'll make it 10-6. Here comes Hobie serving it for Bishop Garrigan. It is a long serve. It's a flex towards the Eagle Grove bench. It's a nice save by Kaiser to keep it in play. It is over the net, but it is out of play. That one almost striking the official there on the far side as Bishop Garrigan goes up 11-6. And we will see a timeout called here by Eagle Grove. So Golden Bears up two cents to nothing. Leading 11 to six here in set number three on Hometown Radio KLGA and the Algona Radio YouTube stream. As always, quick thank you to our streaming sponsors, including Algona State Farm Insurance agent Billy Offerman, Kemna Auto, Algona Municipal Utilities, and High Endeavors. You can see them there in the four corners of the scoreboard, as well as Greg Penning and Company, certified public accountants, the scoreboard sponsor. As Golden Bears come out of the Eagle Grove timeout with Hovey. Bounces the ball a couple of times. Serves a line drive. Dug by Jeske. Gets it up to the front to Style. Middleton blocked with the net. Eagle Grove able to keep it alive, though. Style able to push it over of two hands. Baskey coming left to Joyce. Joyce attacks. That one is stuffed. Rejected by Nadia Kaiser to make it 11-7. Well, Joyce got the best of Kaiser a couple of times. That time, Kaiser getting the best of Joyce. And Eagle Grove will be back on the serve of Chloe Style. Style, end over end serve towards Bodie. Pops it straight up in the air as Vasky goes over the track it down. Hovey free ball over of two hands. Kaiser tipped over the net. Vasky gets it set up for Snyder. It's tipped at the net. And that will be a point for Bishop Garrigan. Going to be a net violation there against Eagle Grove, making it 12 to seven. Golden Bears hanging on to the lead in set number three. The senior Snyder will serve it again. Snyder, end over end it goes. Jeske up to Madison Kaiser, back to Jeske, attacks. Bodie digs it out. And Vasky will get called with a lift there. Trying to set it over to the left. That'll make it 12-8, Eagle Grove. Uh, or make that 12-8 Bishop Garrick, excuse me, as Eagle Grove will be back on the serve. Golden Bears up by four. It is a short curving serve, and Joyce can't play it. Service ace for Bishop Garrigan. That serve definitely had some serious curvature on it. Rotating from right to left. And off the fingertips of Joyce. So 12-8, Bishop Garrigan leading it. Joyce tries to dig that one, and that'll be another service ace. So 12-9. I should make that 12-10 right now. 12-10, Eagle Grove scoring a couple points in a row here. Joyce able to pop that one straight up in the air to Vasky. Vasky sets it back up for Joyce. Joyce attacks and Joyce gets the kill. Targeted that back line, was able to squeeze it in there, making it 13 to 10, Bishop Garrigan. So that will break up a very small run by Eagle Grove. 
Golden Bears trying to get the substitution straight as Montag comes out, Crooks comes in, and Bodie is back to serve. 13-10, Golden Bears. Bodie serves it short. A nice diving dig, though, by Chloe Style. Free ball over by Jeske. Lichter comes up to Vasky. Vasky pushes it over. Eagle Grove sets up an attack here for Jeske. It is blocked at the net. That one might have been a little bit low anyways. And Bishop Garrigan goes up 14-10. So back up by four. That has been about as good as it goes for Bishop Garrigan. Bodie a little confused there for a moment. She was trying to throw it back to the Eagle Grove side. And no, that's a point for you, Bishop Garrigan, as Bodie serves. Style up to the front. Another point for Bishop Garrigan as a lift is going to be called against Kaiser. 15-10, Golden Bears pushing that lead out to five here in set number three. Golden Bears up 2-0. Bodie serves towards the far side as Kaiser goes up to the front to Kaiser. Tipped over the nets, and that one is dropped in perfectly. Callie Style finding the soft spot in the middle of that Bishop Garrigan defense. 15 to 11 the score. And Susie Kaiser will now serve it. So 15 11 Bishop Garrigan. Kaiser serving as Hovey comes up to Vasky. Joyce attacking from the right side this time. And that'll be another kill. And someone from Eagle Grove hit the net anyways that time. So make it 16 to 11 Bishop Garrigan. So now Joyce will serve. Joyce, the left-hander, serves it down the middle, and that'll be an ace. Joyce served it right into the stomach of Chloe Style that time. Couldn't really back up to play it. And it deflected off to the side into the Eagle Grove bench, making it 17-11 Golden Bears. Bishop Garrigan trying to tighten their grip on set number three, leading it 2-0. Joyce serves a line drive towards the middle again. Style has a little trouble with it, and that'll be another point for Bishop Garrigan. They're going to call two hits against Eagle Grove, 18 to 11. Eagle Grove having a little trouble here figuring out the serve of Joyce. The senior serves it again. Down the middle it goes. Tapped at the net, and another point for Bishop Garrigan. And again, two hits called against the Eagles. Boy, they are getting dinged that call a lot here in set number three. So 19 to 11, Bishop Garrigan. Joyce continuing to orchestrate the attack. She'll take a little off that serve. It's a knuckleball played by Kaiser. Kaiser to Kaiser. It drops over the net and no one wanted to take it for Bishop Garrigan. Boy, that's one where you've got to communicate. That ball did not get over the net by a whole lot, but there were two or three Golden Bears in the zip code of that one and no one took charge, so 19 to 12. And Maya Edwards will serve for Eagle Grove. Sophomore wearing number seven, serves a line drive to Joyce, up to Vasky, sets it for Crooks, who comes around and kills it. Audie Crooks going across the body that time, kept it right in the middle of the court, and that will make it 20 to 12, Bishop Garrigan. Golden Bears five away from the magic number here in set number three. Eagle Grove has dropped 41 straight sets against Bishop Garrigan, if you include tonight. Eagle Grove has not won a set or a match against Bishop Garrigan since October 11th of 2012. Will the misery inside of this gym continue for Eagle Grove? Golden Bears have Hovey pushing it over of two hands. Kaiser to Style who taps it over. Joyce to Hovey. Hovey takes a right-handed swing, but she hits it down into the net. Point for Eagle Grove, 20 to 13. Bishop Garrigan up by seven in set number three. Callie Style standing on the right side, getting set to serve. Serves a line drive just over the top of the net to Hovey. Vasky to Crooks, punches it over of two hands. Now it's Kaiser coming over to Style, and Style will deliver the kill. 20 to 14, back to back here for Eagle Grove. It's now or never for the Eagles. They have to make their final push here. Style serving it again. Wearing the white shoes. Puts the ball in the air and sends a tumbling serve to Hovey. Over to Vasky, coming back to Hovey. Hovey attacks and Hovey kills. Was able to squeeze it in between Jeske and Style that time. And Bishop Garrigan up by seven, 21-14. Zoe Montag coming in for the Golden Bears as Adi Crooks will serve it. The senior sends it right down the middle. Up to the front it goes to Kaiser. Sets it up for Middleton. Middleton attacks, and she will get the kill. 
Middleton went right at Crooks that time. Crooks on the back line of the Bishop Garrigan defense tried to turn sideways and play it, but deflected out of play as the score is 21-15. Madison Kaiser serving it left to right, heads towards the far side to Hovey. Vasky back to Hovey, floats it over of two hands to Jeske. Up to the front it goes to Kaiser. Middleton attacks and Middleton is blocked. That looked like Eva Snyder on the stuff for Bishop Garrigan. 22-15 Golden Bears. Three away. Hobie serves and she pushed it out of bounds. Hobie was aiming towards that back right corner but that will go as a service error against Bishop Garrigan. 22-16. Style will replace Middleton for Eagle Grove. As will be Chloe Style, the junior serving. Style sends it back towards Snyder. Towards the back middle to Hovey. Free ball played over by Vasky. Kaiser coming over to Kaiser. Into the net and Eagle Grove can't play it. Kaiser passed to Kaiser, but then that last minute tip there by Jeske did not clear the net. And now Bishop Garrigan's two away. 23-16. Here comes Snyder. Down the middle it grows. Kaiser tapped up to Style. Bodie to Vasky for Bishop Garrigan. Now Montag at the net. It's tipped a couple of times by the Eagles, but they get it back over to Bishop Garrigan. Vasky to Joyce. Joyce attacks and Joyce kills. 24-16. One point away for Bishop Garrigan. 2-0 Golden Bears, 25-14, 25-22, and now 24-16. Here comes Snyder for the serve, and it's long and out of bounds. 24-17, Eagle Grove will survive at least one more. Lichter comes in, Snyder comes out for Bishop Garrigan. Here comes the serve. Bodie up to Vasky. They set it up perfectly for Joyce, and it's lights out. Molly Joyce with the kill. Style and Kaiser trying to block Joyce, but Molly Joyce gets the decisive kill. 25-14, 25-22, 25-17. Bishop Garrigan takes it 3-0. We will take one final quick timeout, and we'll wrap it up quickly after this on Hometown Radio, KLGA. More sports club members making these broadcasts possible on Hometown and Home Country Radio. Reeb's Wicked Good Bar and Grill. For wicked good food, drinks, and service, you got to go to Reeb's. CB Grain Solutions, satisfaction guaranteed. New Way K&H Co-op, delivering exceptional value through knowledge and innovation. Dump it, they do the dirty work so you don't have to. Albert Electric, flip the switch to Albert Electric. Grassmasters, growing satisfied customers. Greg Penny and Company CPA, certified public accountants, where everyone counts. Yemblin Builders and Apartments, quality apartments for rent, beauty and craftsmanship that will never go out of style. Daylight Donuts, open early with delicious donuts and great coffee. All sponsors of this broadcast. As we come back on Hometown Radio KLGA, Bishop Garrigan ends up defeating Eagle Grove tonight by a final score of three sets to none. It was 25-14, 25-22, and 25-17 as the Golden Bears take care of business here tonight. You wanted to see a sweep if you're the Bishop Garrigan side. Obviously, Bishop Garrigan has had a lot of success over Eagle Grove. They had won 15 straight matches and 39 straight sets coming into tonight over the Eagles. And boy, Eagle Grove's misery here inside of Bishop Garrigan's gym just continued tonight. Bishop Garrigan having now won 16 straight matches and 42 straight sets dating back to 2012 but boy Bishop Garrigan came out in set number one just as you wanted as they took an early 8-0 lead Eagle Grove cu cut it back to four a couple times they tried to get back into it but uh, they never were really able to get over the top in set number one Golden Bears winning that one 25-14 set number two was a lot more competitive and boy I really cannot recall either team leading by more than uh, two or three at any point Bishop Garrigan I guess got it up to four at the very very end but for most of the second said it was really just back and forth. Uh, we saw a lot of service errors, maybe a couple sloppy moments and some communication errors by both sides uh, in that set number two. But Bishop Garrigan finally got that late run. It was tied 19-19. They got a little 4-0 run to 
go up 23-19, and that was just enough. They were able to hold on, trade a few points, and win 25-22. Then finally in set number three, Golden Bears got it together. They won 25-17 as Eagle Grove did not lead in the final set number three there. So that was how it ended, 3-0 in favor of Bishop Garrigan as the Golden Bears will now be on the road on Thursday night. They will travel to Garner Hayfield Ventura. Well, that is it for our coverage tonight. Just a quick reminder, we'll have more volleyball action coming your way on Thursday night. We will turn it over to the Bulldogs with Algona against St. Edmund. That one's starting at 7.30. And of course, football on Friday night. We'll have Algona on Hometown Radio KLGA. And we'll have Bishop Garrigan football against West Bend Mallard on Home Country Radio. So. That is what is going on coming up for the rest of this week. But in the meantime, we will sign off for tonight on Hometown Radio KLGA Algona. I'm Tyler Lance. Once again, final score, Bishop Garrigan wins it three sets to none.